four equal section color grid green blue and black so probability of getting green is p p equals to oops, sorry so p equals to one over four okay so from here we know q equals to three over four okay so using x geometrically distributed and the probability of p is 1 over 4 the success probability is 1 over 4 okay let's figure this out so it's quite an easy question what is the probability that it takes more than four spins to see green for the first time more than four okay so i can write this as p x is greater than or equal to 5 okay uh, you might ask me why it's x is greater than 5 when the question says more than 4 okay I think it makes sense because the very first time that you're going to get is either it's 5 6 and so on and so forth so no strike okay no green for the first 4 so if it's no green for the first 4 it's very simple what is not getting green it's 3 over 4 to the power of Okay, 3 over 4 to the power of 4, which is 81 over 256 or 0 0.3165. Okay, next, number 7. Production line has 3% defect. Okay, product, this is question 6. Okay, question 7. Production line has 3% defect rate. 3% defect rate items are inspected at random what is the probability that no defects are found after 50 items have been inspected so no defects only after 50 so there are defects before that okay so let's figure this out so p x is less than equal to 50 okay so well there are a couple of methods for you to do okay since it's 50 you can even use uh, the series formula okay you can even use the series formula I think I'll rather use the series formula because the question says no defects are found after 50 so there are defects before 50 so what is the potential of getting what is the probability of getting uh, defects when x equals to 1, x equals to 2, x equals to 3, x equals to 4, all the way x equals to 50. So I can do a summation, okay? I can add them, okay? So I'm going to do that. Okay, let's say when p x equals to 1, okay, plus p x equals to 2, plus p x equals to 3, plus p x equals to 4, and da 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 da, da. Okay? So... Now, when, if I use the formula, okay, so chance of getting defect is 0.3, so P is 0.3, so if I use the formula, I think what is common over here is, for the first one, you have 0 0.97 to the power of 0, okay, times by 0 0.03, I'm not going to write the entire thing, it's R minus 1, so it's 1 minus 1, which is 0, okay, and then plus 0.97 to the power of 1 and then multiply by 0 0.03 and then plus 0.97 to the power of 2 times 0 0.03 and so on so forth okay if you look at it what's your a value here your a value is 0 0.03 correct your a value is 0 0.03 and then what's your r r equals to 0 0.97 so if i use the summation formula okay as 50 okay as 50 the formula is a 1 minus r to the power of n divided by 1 minus r okay if i use this i can get okay 0 0.03 multiplied by just sub your formula is 1 minus 0.97 to the power of n in this case it's 50 okay divided by that's 50 okay divided by 
1 minus 0 0.97 okay so from here we can figure out the answer is 0 0.7819346 okay so this is the defect that they get uh, between S50 but if you read if you look at the question do they want defects what do they want what is the probability that no defects after 50 if this is s50 is the summation of defects from x1 all the way to 50 so what is the defect after that no defect after that so it is the complement of this okay it is the complement of this so uh, let me push this up a little bit okay so now so it's the complement of this so no defects basically is 1 minus defects right okay we know we use this in probability always the complement okay to find an answer so if we see as okay so 1 minus defects which is 0 0.7819346 okay and the answer that I get to 3 decimal place 0 0.21 okay 0 0.21 okay next okay i'm going to scroll up there's no space here i'm going to scroll up okay now okay next question josie is a captain of a five a side football okay josie is a captain of five a side football Team playing in a league of eight teams she has lost the toss in each of the first three games so that's gone she has already lost that what is the probability that she will not win the toss in the league uh, that season okay she will not win the toss in the league in that season so basically how many games are there they have said uh, Josie's team plays seven matches in the league during the uh, season okay so uh, so eight teams seven matches okay that makes sense okay so and she already lost the toss three times so how many more toss that's left okay, that's a straightforward question how many more toss that she has she has um, four more tosses isn't it okay so since she has four more tosses so chance of she uh, losing that is q to the power of R because she only has another form of okay q to the power of R so q is 0 0.5 because uh, I suppose she is using coin okay 0 0.4 to the power of 4 which is I think uh, that's 0 0.5 to the power of 4 it's 1 over 16 which is 0 0.0625 okay okay so that's question number 8 Okay, last question, question number nine. Okay, Martha, uh, Martha is a good soccer player who has record of scoring with 15% of the shoots, uh, shots she attempts. Okay, in a particular game, Martha has eight shots. So 15% out of any shots that she attempted, okay, she gets it. Okay, so basically now in this particular game, Martha has eight shots out of eight okay calculate the probability that Martha does not score in the game so basically she doesn't score at all okay although she has 15% uh, chance of you know scoring but in this game she doesn't score at all so how many games that she played so be before that let's figure out what is the p-value so p-value to score is 0 0.15 okay that's scoring so if she scores so q should be not scoring which is 0 0.85 okay so in this question the question says um, calculate the problem that Martha does not score in the game at all so how many shots that she's going to take she's going to take eight shots so not scoring 0.85 like the previous question to the power of eight and your answer is zero point two seven two five
Okay. I hope that's clear. Thank you.